The member for Blair has the call. Thank you, Deputy Speaker. My question is to the Assistant Treasurer and Minister Assisting for Deregulation. Will the Assistant Treasurer update the House on false and we see leading claims made about the carbon price? What action has been taken by the ACCC and businesses to address such claims? The Good Assistant question. Treasurer has the call. I thank the member for Blair for his question. And the member is right to ask questions about false and misleading claims that have been made in relation to the carbon price, because there have been many. In fact, most of them have been made by the coalition. As we all know, the carbon price the came into effect on the 1st of July. And what have we seen in that time? Have we seen the, the wrecking ball through the Australian economy that the Leader of the Opposition promised? No. What we have seen in that time is the ASX 200 has risen by 4.6 per cent. We have seen 14,000 jobs created in that time. And we have seen the TD Securities Melbourne Institute inflation gauge with its lowest reading in almost three years. Now, while there have been some false and misleading claims made, the good news is that most Australian businesses, the vast majority of Australian businesses, are doing the right thing. But for that small proportion of businesses that have been making false and misleading claims, the ACCC has been taking prompt action. And so far, we've seen enforcement action taken against a gym in Melbourne for using claims about the carbon price to try and lock its customers into long-term contracts. We've seen enforcement action taken against Brumby's bakeries. And we've seen enforcement action taken against a company that was making false claims about refrigerant gases, claims which those opposite have been recklessly seek seeking to beat up in order to make some political gains. Now, while some of us have been out there trying to crack down on these price rises, the Leader of the Opposition has been mounting the mother of all scare campaigns, trying to give businesses the green light to jack up their prices and to blame it on the carbon price. Well, the thankfully, Member for Cook will leave the chamber, chamber under 94A. His persistence in ignoring the chair is, is not warranted. The Assistant Treasurer has the call. But thankfully, most Australian businesses have been turning their back on the invitation to join the Leader of the Opposition's reckless scare campaign. Now, we, we all recall the, the dodgy pamphlet that was distributed by the Leader of the Opposition to butchers all around this country. We remember that pamphlet. And in fact, the Australian Meat Industry Council, who represent butchers all around the country, uh, this was something drawn to their attention that they decided to write to their members in their newsletter to comment on. And what they said was they said the Federal Opposition Leader recently provided a flyer to many small business owners, allegedly providing encouragement to increase prices as a result of the carbon tax. And then they go on and it says Amic strongly recommends that you do not claim that price increases are a direct result of the introduction of the carbon tax and wait for it or display material to this effect which may have been provided by third parties. Third parties like the Leader of the Opposition. The Australian Meat Industry Council, they respect their customers, they respect the law, and that's why they're asking their members to give your scare campaign the, the big The Minister's time has expired.